welcome back to my channel so today we are doing my regular cash stuffing but i also just have a few little things to do first so first of all let's acknowledge i have finally painted my cash tray i painted it blue put some little scrapbooking paper on the bottom and i think it looks much better um yeah so that's my tray got my coffee ipad um first thing to acknowledge is my wallet envelopes I have changed. So I went to Officeworks the other day and I found these cute little um, zip envelopes and they're just like, your, I think they're A8 size. And yeah, I found these for like $1.60 each or something. So I grabbed four of them and I'm going to use these as my wallet envelopes now. I do have this one which I use just money that I've already spent and I need to take it to the bank. So if I use my card instead of cash, then I will deposit this back in to put it to balance out my buffer account again. So this I'll just keep the same, it's just a little piece of envelope, it doesn't matter. But first of all, I want to show you guys how I'm going to make the labels for these. So I do have some money in them because I did it for, I budgeted last week for two weeks. So I have enough in there for this week as well. And I'm just going to show you how I'm going to do this. So, sorry if I am not making any sense. <laughs> okay, first one we'll just do will be the grocery ones. So... We did groceries already, we've got $50 change, and that'll last us from next week. Oh my goodness, okay. All right, so this is the grocery one. Now, what I'll be using is this label printer. I got this today, I got this from Big W, it was 40% off, I got it for $23. And basically, you just click the on button. This is the Dymo brand. And then you pick your font or whatever, I have it on the shadow font. And then you type in what you want and then you print it. I already printed one to test it out so I won't waste it. And then it comes out the side here and I printed one for groceries just to test it out. And this is what it looks like. So I've never used this before, I only bought this today. But I'm thinking this is a more affordable way to make your own envelopes. So if you're just starting out, you could buy cheap envelopes, little pockets. Put it in the middle actually. And you could use a little label printer. So there we go. Got a little grocery wallet envelope and it's cute, it's affordable. I would I would really like to buy some envelopes from the Etsy shops, but I think for now I'm just gonna make my own. Test this out. There we go. So we've got $50 in groceries. So yeah, so let's make another one for feel. So you get this, um, I will delete. So do I wanna write fuel or petrol? I'm I'm gonna write fuel. Where's F? F U E Oh, so I typed it in F U E L, chosen my format and everything, and now I'm going to go print. It's already printed on the side here, and this is the blade. Already done. So I thought I just want to share this with you guys. This is a really easy way to make little envelopes. I don't have a large stuffing. I am stuffing $200 of a paycheck and then also $380 that I had saved up in my bank account for my house deposit fund. Now I did that at the start of the year before I did my first stuffing. So I just withdrew that so I can pop it in my envelopes. I didn't get paid $380, it was only $200. So we will just separate the money today. Let's just organize the money. So this is what I was talking about. Um, this was already in my bank account. I was just putting that out of my bank, popping it in my envelope, and this was my actual income, the $200. I already separated my denominations, 
and we will just acknowledge I am not stuffing anything this week in my wallet envelopes. I've already got groceries, I've already got fuel, and I'm not giving myself anything for an allowance or eating out this week because it is a very low income. So we're gonna go straight into the sinking funds. Alrighty. So this video here is a very low income stuffing. So I just wanna say, no matter how big or small your paycheck is, you can do a, your own budget. It doesn't have to be a large income to do the cash stuffings and stuff. I have seen some comments of some people saying, I don't get enough money to do this. You can just put a little bit in each one. Like as you can see, I'm doing five in some, 10 in some and 30 in some. Obviously when I do more shifts, I do get more money. But um, I am a full-time student as well. I am a pharmacist student. I am studying full-time and I'm going into third year this year. So obviously I'm not going to be able to work as much when my trimester begins again. So we'll be stuffing $30 in utilities. So I am a low income earner and I just want to say that anyone can do this method. It's a really great way of saving. So let's just count it. We've got 50, 70, 80. Car maintenance, I will be also adding $30. 20 and a 10. I'm pretty sure I have a service coming up for my car. So I just want to make sure I have enough in that one to make sure I'm not in debt to my own buffer account, if that makes sense. So you got 50, 120, 40, 60, 70. I am also preparing a video of like my top tips on how to save money, um, stay on top of your finances. So that is in the works right now. It should be posted within the next week. So um, let me know if there's any questions you want me to answer in that video and I'll have a look at all the comments and check that one out and help you out in my next video. So it won't be a cash stuffing in my next video. There'll be like a bonus video in between. So my, I will have a normal stuffing next week as well. But between then I should have an extra video. So we've got 15 in internet. So yeah, I just noticed I want to discuss how I stay on top of my budget that sometimes I do fall out of my budget. I'm not perfect. Health, we're adding ten dollars. So we've got sixty dollars. Back to school, we'll be adding ten dollars. So that's uh, sixty. Toiletries will be fifteen. Ten and a five. 20, 20, 35. House deposit, so this is where I'm putting a lot in there. I'm putting 380, and that was just what I already had saved up from the start of the year. This isn't an extra income. So you got 100, 200, 300, 2, 4, 6, 80. So we'll check that. 50, 150, 250, 320, 40, 60, 80. And we'll join it to this one. 50, 150, 53, 54, 55, 150, 100% did not know that was how much was in there. That's only, what? Well, now that's been saving since the start of the year, since January 1st. Um, vacation and wedding is $10. You can totally see where my priorities are right now. <laughs> Definitely wanting to buy that house. $60 in here. I just want everyone's opinions. Would I'm engaged, um, obviously, and I'm saving for a wedding with my partner. Would you buy a house first or would you have the wedding first? Because I think our ultimate goal is to buy a house together. So anytime I'm thinking about planning the wedding, I'm thinking, oh, that money could have gone towards our house. Should I have really done that? So that's why I'm doing the house first. But then at the same time, would you, was that what you would do? Like, give me your opinions. What would, what would your um, opinion be on what I should do? Wedding first or house first? Right now my mind is at the house first and then after the house is bought and we're paying that one off and we have our mortgage, then we can start saving a little bit extra towards the wedding to get that one sorted out. So yeah, just let me know what you think. All right, so we're into the shopping binder. 
And today in clothing, we're adding $20. So you got 40. When I was at the bank this morning, they ran out of um, notes. So I have some smaller denominations here. Gifts will be getting 20. Get 20, 30, 45. It is also my birthday next Sunday, 30th of January. That will be my 21st birthday, if you didn't know how old I was. And yeah, I am working 10 hours that day. I will not be celebrating on my birthday, but the day before on the Saturday, I might have a little celebration or the day after, I'm not too sure. I don't drink or party or anything like that. I just have like time with family, have dinner, have some cake, have some tea. I'm a very chilled out <laughs> person. I'm not a big party girl. Um, but yeah, let me know if you have any ideas what I should do for my birthday or if you'd be interested in how much I'm spending on my birthday. Would you want like a budget video on that as well or? Don't really care. Just let me know. <laughs> get 20, 30, 45. Or well, let me know what you did on your 21st birthday. Did you have a big crazy party? I live in Australia, so drinking was legal at 18. So I've already had my first drink and whatever. I'm not really into it. I also have a, um, a heart condition, so I'm not really meant to be drinking and doing stuff that can affect my heart rate and pressure and whatnot. Um, so lucky I don't like it anyway. But yeah, so do you reckon I should still try and have a nice celebration or just, yeah, let me know. 20, 30, 5, 40. Date night. I think I'll just have a nice time at home. Home. So the difference with this, I'll just let you guys know. I have a home envelope and then a house deposit envelope. This one here is just for stuff around the house. Like if I say I needed to buy a new couch, I would take it out of this one here. Or just little bits and bobs that I need around the house, I would get that from this envelope. But house deposit is to purchase an actual house. So you get 5, 10, 15, 20, 40. 25, 30, 35, 40. Alright, that is this week's stuffing. All finished and dusted. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and support this family. And I will be replying to all your comments. And yeah, if you have a YouTube channel as well, please comment below if you film stuffings as well. I want to check you guys all out. I've been subscribing. And uh, I've made myself an Instagram. So if you guys ever want to DM me or contact me, I've noticed that YouTube removes some comments and stuff because um, they think it's like self-advertising or something. I'm not too sure about the rules. 100% I am a small YouTuber. So yeah, um, I will link my Instagram below for you guys to contact me. And yeah, anyway, have a wonderful week and hopefully I will see you during this next week um, with my video about my top, top 10 tips I'm assuming I'll make on how to save money, how to finance. Yeah, anyway, have a good week guys. See you later.